Hey everybody, Pimplacia here, and today I'm going to do a really fast guide on how to deep water your succulents. In past videos, I talked about deep watering. It's when you water really heavily, like once or twice a week, so that the roots will go down rather than go out. This helps provide stability, and it lets the plants grow bigger because they're not going to topple over since the roots are helping support them. So, I have a couple plants. I'm going to give a precursor. Oh, this is on. That was chaotic. So I'm going to give a precursor to it that this hose isn't necessarily the best for it. Uh, it's currently raining where I live, which is kind of weird. It's been like 100 degrees all week. But it's why we're over here in the rain, or the, under the canopy, because that noise is crazy. So this is, is the one I have to work with. The other one would work better in theory. But it'll still be fine. I use it to water the plants regardless. So it depends on what type of hose you're using. I have this one. It's super high powered. So with this plant, I know, I kind of stand back a ways. Yeah. It'll be hard to tell with this one, but basically, you water until you can see like a little pool. Let's see if I can get in there. So you can kind of see the little pool of water in there. We'll do that again over here. So with a high power hose like this, I like to stand back a ways, so that way, I'm not actually hurting the plants at all. So you can see how there's water inside of it. And that's kind of what we need for deep water. We want the water to kind of pool up. And then since our substrate has a lot of perlite or pumice or whatever you're using as to aerate your soil, it'll work just fine when we do it this way. So these are plants I've had a really long time, probably 10 plus years now. I didn't used to take care of them, and then I started to take care of them. But this one's a little big, you can see our aloe here. We have a shade plant type variety, like this one. And then probably some sort of sedum here. Looks like the hanging ones. And then I'll go back over here. This is my palette planner. So how I do this one is I stand back really far, and I am up. And yeah, that probably wastes a bit of water. However, these plants are all really small, so they're kind of fragile. And I don't want to go front add them either, because I don't want to damage the plant. And this way, we're able to just get everything. And this one, I kind of like to see the water droplets dripping down. So if you're looking, you can see how the water's falling off of the edges of like our cloth and stuff. And that shows me that has a really good one. Oh, that's a web. Okay, I see it there. So that's how I like to do deep water my plant. Oh, I forgot one, hold on. Yeah, water that last one. For those that have seen my mother thousands, that's what it's turned into. So it's become quite chaotic over there. We'll have to see what happens when winter comes because that's when they're going to like skyrocket in size and all of that. So I was given this plant. The soil and substrate isn't necessarily what I use. I say substrate. I have a pet tortoise so I keep some substrate. The soil isn't necessarily what I'd use. It's kind of more like dirt rather than any actual soil mixture but it works. So that's a quick guide on how to deep water. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know down below. Your watering schedule kind of depends where you are. People are like, succulents don't need a lot of water. If you're living in 100 degree wide weather, they're gonna need a lot of water, especially our delicate plants like our Ioniums and things. They need a lot of water or their cells are just gonna burst. So if you have any questions on how to water your succulents or just anything in general, let me know down below. You can check out our Instagram or Discord to see other things like species identification or help with anything else. And if you like this and learned something, please don't hesitate to hit subscribe and like. Thank you and have an amazing rest of your day.